Here we go. We are going fishing. It's early morning and there's a lot of fog. It's misting. The wind is ripping and the current is ripping. I got a uh, nice top water bait that I got yesterday. Put that on and we're gonna try to catch some bluefish. There were some fish busting. Uh, I was too slow with the camera to, to get them, but they were jumping right out of the water. It was really, really cool. So I got some top water on. Hopefully we catch some fish. I'm here with Miss Erica, and we're not wearing waders today. We're going all in. Let's go. This is what we're going to be throwing. It wasn't like sunrise. The sunrise started back up there. Yeah. All right, so we're here. If you can hear me, that's good. <laughs> we got a river raging underneath us. We were going to do some bait fishing again, but he tried a six ounce and it just went like that. So it's not like what it was the other day. But uh, he does have a YouTube channel too. It's called Fisker Outdoor Adventures. I'll link him below. He's trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It would be nice. What are you at? Uh, we're at 862, I think, something like that. So what is that? 140, 38, 138 subscribers away from a thousand. Go, go subscribe fishing. Hopefully, a lot more together. But that's the main fishing partner before Miss Erica. Look, she's that big. <laughs> so it's been like uh, I guess about a year and a half since I posted uh, the last uh, video I actually uploaded was um, full run 2019. Yeah, I'm gonna try get the channel up and going again, get some content out for you. But uh, but I need subscribers to to make it worth doing. Um, so if you can go to Fisker Outdoor Adventures and subscribe, and and we'll start getting some good content. That's where we're at. So. Hope to see you out on the water and see you on YouTube. Let's go catch fish. Only 47 on the bottom. It's going. It's going. I think it's a bass. Oh, it's a little, it's a little guy. There we go. Little bass throwing an ace 47 on the bottom, just letting it flutter underneath the bridge. And we got a little schoolie. Very nice, beautiful fish. Mwah, smooch him at least. You wanna touch him? Right there. All right, beautiful little little bass, about uh, 17 inches or so. And uh, we're throwing diamond dig, diamond jigs onto the bridge, heavy ones. So, smooch and release.
we're doing is basically dropping down some um, diamond jigs, heavy ones, letting them go on the bottom, giving them a few twitches up in this really fast current, and then we're getting smacked by stripers and blues. But there's also fish busting right after the bridge. So right now, I took off my diamond jig. I got an SP minnow bunker on. I'm gonna try to drift that on the top, and they're basically hitting in that rip. So I'm gonna get that bait to that spot where they're hitting, and then just work it from there. Let's see if that works. made a custom jig this morning. <laughs> I bounced it off the bridge and turned my diamond jig into an S jig. And then uh, next cast, I slammed a nice like six, seven pound bluefish. So I think we'll keep that one on. All right, so clearly this diamond jig technique is what's working. This really, really fast current. So what we're doing here is letting it, when we cast it out, we let it sink first on a slack line because on a taut line, it's just gonna come straight and just stay in like, the top or the middle of the, the water column because of how fast the current is actually going. So on a, on a slack line, we're letting them drop once we cast and then hit the bottom and then slowly jigging and twitching up. That's what we're doing. I got a four ounce. Everyone else is using an A27 or a three ounce. So let's go get more. Big boy. Oh, man. Bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Oh. Nope, just up, 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 up. Let me get the leader. <laughs> nice one. She caught my dinner. Oh. Can't push it down unless you press the trigger. What? Where? Which one? That's the trigger, yeah. Oh, he's so strong. That is so cool. Yep. Look at this tea. Just think it's biblical. But yeah, I know. We have dominion over, you know, all them. I'm, Let's see it. I'm sorry. So how long did it take you to catch that? <laughs> I've been I've been bait fishing yesterday and today and I have not caught one trigger fish. And now I finally have. So I'm happy. And he's big. It's just like a nice size. And now Brian's gonna have like fish tacos or something for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my friend, time to go in the bucket. I, I'd say smooch around. Give him a smooch. <laughs> smooch. Yeah. Smooch. Look at that, he's got such dorky, bucket. cute little teeth. Hi. Maybe you should put water in the bucket? Oh, man. <laughs> they left. Now I'm here by myself. And of course, oh, this one's smaller. All right, I think I finally figured it out. Um, I think it was the way I was putting the clams on that they have really tiny mouths. So the way that I had the clam on, it kind of seemed like, like it, I don't know, there was just wasn't enough room to get their mouth on it and set the hook at the same time. So, oh, that's a little guy. Oh, I can't wait till they come back. <laughs> I guess I do better when I'm by myself. <laughs> Here's another beautiful trigger fish. These fish are so cool. They have such cool teeth and just the blue in them, like they look so tropical. I don't know if you could see that. I gotta hold it from right here, otherwise he's gonna go wild. You can see how tropical it looks. They're just awesome fish. I love that these fish are in, and I think a month sooner than we caught them last year, which is even cooler. So, 
I'd give you a smooch and release, but your fish tacos for Brian tonight. <laughs> Oh, by the way, there's another trigger fish in there for you. Excellent. <laughs> How cute. I've been catching such cute little tiny things the last couple of days. Can it, do these have teeth? Do you have teeth? Look how cute. Erica's second trigger going back because he's, he's small, so we'll let him grow. I'll catch him again. Okay, goodbye, my friend. Oh, you're so cute. You caught three fish already. Yeah. Nice. In like five minutes. <laughs> so we've been fishing for a long time-ish without any bites whatsoever, bait fishing or throwing the plugs. So we're probably gonna head out, maybe go somewhere else, I'm not sure. But we had some good fish early in the morning and uh, now the bugs are really biting and it's getting frustrating with no bites and bug bites, so we'll see.